On 14 June 2022, senior BJP leader Uma Bharti threw cow dung at a liquor shop in Madhya Pradesh. She also tied two cows in front of a liquor shop in Orcha town, which is famous for temples and exotic people to drink milk and not alcohol under her Madhu Shala Me Go Shala program. Well, it was her way of demanding the total prohibition of liquor in the state. Eight months later, on 19th Feb 2023, the Madhya Pradesh government approved a new excise policy banning ahatas, which are an area attached to a liquor shop for people to drink. And MP's firebrand leader Uma Bharti was happy and called it a historic decision. So, what is MP's new excise policy exactly? But before we explain that, do like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Currently, Bihar and Gujarat are two major states where liquor sales have been completely banned. Madhya Pradesh, which is a poll-bound state with elections due in December 2023, also brought a new liquor policy that states, no new liquor shops will be opened in the state. All ahatas and shop bars are being shut down in the state. From here on, liquor will be sold at the shops and places of drinking will not be allowed. The distance of liquor shops from educational institutions, girls' hostels, and religious places is being increased from 50 meters to 100 meters. Government will strengthen the punishment in cases of drinking and driving. At present, there is a jail time of six months or a rupees 2,000 fine or both for the first offense of drink and drive. For the second offense committed within three years of the previous incident, there is a jail time of two years or rupees 3,000 fine or both. But the state government has now proposed to suspend the driving license of people caught drinking and driving. Reportedly, the new excise policy will come into effect from April 1, 2023, although no official announcement has been made regarding this so far. Madhya Pradesh CM Shivrat Singh Chauhan had previously ordered a ban on hookah lounges and warned of strict action against those involved in illegal drug businesses back in October 2022. But it is interesting to note that the Madhya Pradesh government slashed liquor prices in January 2022 to make them practical and allowed the sale of liquor at all airports and selected supermarkets in the state's four biggest cities, that is Indore, Bhopal, Jabalpur and Gwalior. So, is this new liquor policy a way of tempting voters? What do you think? Do tell us in the comments below. It's rare to find news and insights tailor-made for you. For clutter-free content and value-added insights, India's number one financial news destination, Money Control brings you Money Control Pro, an ad-free premium service that offers its subscribers curated market data, feasible investment solutions, exclusive noise-free information, independent equity analysis, and sharp opinion. Money Control Pro, India's fastest-growing subscription service, has offered valuable content to subscribers in sync with their interests and demands. We are now a family of over half a million active subscribers, consistently helping our users on their wealth creation journey and enriching their awareness around business and finance. We are grateful for the continued support of our loyal readers and subscribers for making Money Control Pro an undisputed leader in its category. And if you are yet to experience the rich offering, subscribe today for a seamless, uninterrupted access to a gamut of business and financial information. Be a pro with Money Control Pro.